So uh, main topics this afternoon that we want to speak about the Pret line. And the topic there is the new zirconia material, the Preto 3, and the shade guides, and also some additional things. So let's start with that. And I think we are good in time. So give me a second, just share my screen with you. Some words in front of before we start. Maybe one or the other knows us already and you know where we are located. So the company is based in uh, South Tyrol, in the north of Italy. And yeah, it's a valley of knowledge around huge mountains and we are in the middle of that. Some words to my own person. So my name is Jürgen Feierabend. I'm an educated dental technician was working in Germany more than 20 years in labs as, yeah, in that way, technician in all fields of dental technology. Now I'm running since about 10 years here with Zirkonzahn, working in the lab. And my main tasks are here to give education, running lectures, now in moment, doing a lot of webinars. Everything is going online. We are not like you, not able to go out, but uh, yeah, we have to handle it and I hope we can present you something nice. That what I told you, the company is based South Tyrol, north of Italy. We have a lot of, the headquarter is, is uh, in, in Guys near Brunico and around here we have a lot of education centers here but also education center all over the world and yeah the goal of, of our ceo mr enrico steger is education is for him overall not just to sell hardware software and everything but he also want to educate people uh, to handle that and yeah, to give him the, uh, the people outside the OIs to receive the best results as possible. The company is quite young, my opinion. So he started 2003 and 2005 was the official start with 10 employees. Now up to, yeah, it's 2020, now we have 2021. Uh, a lot of things happen, as you can see there on the on the left line. And in the meantime, we are around 350 employees. So starting with 10 and now growing up to 350. We have a lot of partners, 50 partners all over the world. A lot of education center, as I told you. And in the meantime, Maybe one or the other knows that the starting point was a manual milling system. And now we have a lot of hardware, software, material. Everything is produced in-house to keep uh, the control, the quality control over it. And yeah, we are still going forward to, to develop new things and to set up new things. Some things in general about the material diversity before we come to the main topic. So the material diversity is also becoming huge over the last years. Uh, regarding just the zirconia material, uh, here we have to start from the right side to the left side. So when we take a look here at the ice translucent, that was a starting point for Enrico Steger in 2005 with a manual system that was the first zirconia what he brought out on the market. After that, for the full anatomic cases and the first material in that way on the market for the full arches and also for full monolithic cases was a Pretor material. And then we have to jump a little bit. Uh, after the Preto, there was coming the Preto 4 and Preto 4 anterior dispersive. Indication for that is for, for single restorations, inlays, onlays, veneers, single crowns. In that way, 
After that, he set up, that was well, two years ago, I would say, two, three years ago, the Predator 2. Comparing with the, with a normal Predator, it has a higher translucency, but the indication is also for full arch cases. You can use it monolithic, you can use it for, for reduced browns to layer ceramic on it. So the huge possibilities you have to finally to make everything with it. And the last material where we want to focus this afternoon on is the Pretto 3 Dispersive, what was coming out a few months ago now. And yeah, it fills the line between the Pretto 2 and the Pretto 4. Pretto 2 and Pretto 2 Dispersive for the full arch cases, for big restorations, but also for single crowns for sure. But Pretto 4 anterior was in that way for smaller restorations and in between there was always a missing gap how to fill that. And now for, for larger bridges and also for indication where you need a higher translucency, we, we brought out the Pretto 3 dispersive. But about this I will explain you later on a little bit more. Now you see the huge range of resins, which we are also selling for all indications. Is it for try-ins? Is it for friction cases? Is it for burnout material? And, and, and for model, creating model, you see a lot of things what you can see here. And I would say you can find for, for all cases what you have to do, the right material here on our side. And the last is the metals. So the metal things what we are working with in dental technology, synthetic metal, chrome cobalt, titanium, and also the raw abutments, our main material when we want to work with metals. And finally, additional things like wax in, in different strengths, the glass ceramics, composite, and even the last one, the wood. So Christmas is over, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit, it's not a joke, but finally to make jewelry or something, it's even possible to design jewelry with the software and to mill it in the milling machine. So let's start with this day topics. So give me a second, start. The white, rugged, and ancient Dolomites, unique of their kind, rise up from the enormous primordial sea of Tethys 250 million years ago. Lifted with strength by the hard coral reefs of the African continent, they stand proudly against the infinite sky, challenging all weather conditions. Famous today as UNESCO World Natural Heritage, the Dolomites, located in South Tyrol, are a unique mountain range. An exceptional phenomenon in the Alps, respected as a magical place in the Stone Age. They are still shrouded in their mystical charm. Their white color lives on through the centuries shining brightly in the moonlight and reverberating the glowing colors of the setting sun. This is the myth. These are the Dolomites. As unique as this natural monolith is zirconia, the dental material of choice. To imbue it with unique properties. To make it resistant beyond our lifetime. To infuse luminosity and all its extraordinary attributes gives us as producers of this noble material, inspired by our South Tyrolean homeland and scientific spirit, the unbelievable immense feeling of doing the right thing.
So that was a small introduction, I would say a nice video to start with these state topics. And we saw the video, Seconia from the Dolomites. And now to make you a picture about that when we speak about opaque Seconia and when we speak about translucency, so we were thinking about how to to make a picture out of that to imagine what's behind and i would say we found a good example for that so one example as you can see it here if you take a glass of milk it is 100 percent percent opaque so you are not able to look through it's in that way uh, the consistence of the material or of the liquid is like that, it is 100% opaque. The opposite to that is water. You have a 100% transparent liquid, it has a 100% translucency, so even when we have a glass of water, we are able to look through that. Now, what happened when we start to mix it? 50% uh, of milk or 50% of water, we have 100% of water milk. And that one is what we receive. The result of that is we have a 50% translucency in this new li liquid, what we mixed up. So now when we take a look from zero to 100%, uh, where is it possible to place our zirconia inside of this wrench? So now we have here in that way an example where we can place it inside. That means starting with a normal pretor, we receive a 30% translucency and it rises up to the pretor for 60% translucency. And that what we want to speak about this afternoon the Preto 3, we receive 50% translucency. I think that is a good example to have a visualization about that when we speak about opaque and translucency, where we can put the material inside that, uh, I would say, nice thing yeah, to have a visual help about that. And the indication of the material is in that way, I already spoke about that, is a little bit different from Preto, the translucency comparing with the others is quite deep, uh, quite low, and it rises up with a Preto 2, Preto 3, Preto 4, the translucency rises more up. The opposite to that is, if you get a higher translucency, the strength goes down. And that means a material with a really high translucency, like the Preto 4, has just a small indication regarding the flexural strength of it. So up to three unit bridges. That is a disadvantage by, by development of those materials. When the translucency goes higher, the strength goes down. So that's the thing uh, yeah, regarding the indication of that material what you have to take care about depending on the cases you are working on here it's a nice picture to see uh, in that way also the translucency when you take a picture against the light how it is possible to look through the material how strong is the translucency and when you compare that so Preto 3 absorbs a lot of light and then that way it goes higher and higher and the translucency rises up uh, regarding the different materials. But also to that small video, what I want to present.
That was a small intro about the strengths if you bond zirconia to the teeth or even if you bond zirconia to something else. Uh, yeah. So I would say a nice video, a nice example also to get a little bit information about that. So here now, once again, Prato material, characteristics, deep translucency, high strengths, polychromatic, sintering temperature, and that way, the first material where Enrico Stega started with for, for the full anatomic cases and even for the full arches. Another thing here, another picture in that way, high strengths, 1200 MPA. The Pretel 2. Higher translucency, but even a high strength in that way. So in that way here, they were able also to receive a higher translucency and to keep the strength in that way. Also the Pretel 2, ideal for monolithic full arches, but even also possible that it can be characterized through manual coloring and with, with the reduction and final layering of ceramics. Now here it's written, yeah, I see that is the wrong thing, that is a Pretto 3 dispersive uh, translucency, even higher, sintering temperature is the same on 1600 degree, but here we, I, give, I will give you more detailed information in the following pictures. But also you can see here results out of that, that it is uh, ideal for bigger cases and also if you use it for full monolithic cases, no, don't be afraid, so no, no trouble anymore with ceramic chipping or something else. And now a little bit more detailed information about that material. So. What is new with the Pretto 3 dispersive? Uh, there is this new name also, this gradual triplex technology. What is behind of that? So first of, uh, uh, first of all, it has this flexural strength gradient. That means we have in the base even a strength of 1200 MPA. Also in the middle of the blank or in the middle of the structure, you have a high strength of 1100 MPA and from the middle up to the incisal part it goes down to 607 MPA. So from the middle up to the incisal part it loses the strength but it rises up the translucency. So the same is this trans translucency gradient, the second thing, the second tooth what we can see here on the screen. Uh, in the base, in the bottom, the translucency is low and with every step or every, yeah, step by step, which you go nearer to the incisal part, it rises up the translucency, like comparing with a, with a natural tooth, how it looks like. The same with the color gradient, you have a dark base and you have a higher color gradient in the incisal part. I would say the final, on the final result, it is nice to see this gradual triplex technology. So the result shows all the examples, the three examples from before. Some yeah, detailed information about the Pretto 3 dispersive. So it is available in all 
uh, dentin colors from A1 to D4, additional three bleach shades. And it is possible, so it is in that way the dispersive material is pre-colored, but it's even possible to make a manual coloring with color liquids and no additional color liquids are in that way necessary. I don't know who of you is working with our material, but uh, to make an individualization of this material, it is still possible to use a color liquid Preto Aquarel intensive colors to modify the structure in that way, how you think it might be the best for you. No limitations of the material, but I would say it is for multi-unit bridges, for full arches. We recommend more the Preto 2, but everything between a full arch and a single crown, I would say we recommend that this Preto 3 dispersive is a brilliant material for that. Fast sintering of single crowns is possible. That means small, yeah, single crowns like inlays, onlays, veneers, whatever, fast sintering is in that way possible. No ceramic shipping. Yeah. If I make a full anatomical design, I stay away from ceramic shipping and even the personalization after sintering with stains and glaze in that way is the same way like usually you do it with other zirconias. Some technical information about processing. Uh, everyone who is working with our software, maybe you know, because in that way it's a benefit that you, when you place a structure inside of the blank, it is nice to see that you have a displayed color gradient that you can see about this, this uh, triplex visualization where you have to place your structure to receive the best result afterwards out of it. Comes the right processing, we never started in that way to mill zirconia wet. We never made it, so still the old way. Zintering at 1500 degree, uh, yeah, 1500 degree. And as I told you, glazing with 3D glaze base, glaze plus, or other materials in that way. And also this high gloss polishing, if you don't want to glaze it, also this high gloss polishing is possible. So that is a little bit, yeah, information about that. Here we can see a picture how it can look like if you individualize such a structure before sintering, that you characterize a little bit here with the blue, the incisal part or the ridges and give him a little bit darker material in the neck or even here on the gingiva to individualize it a little bit more like it is. That's what it looks like after sintering and here it's even the full monolithic case, what we can see here, and we see again this triple technology, this natural color gradient. So the dark, more opaque one from, from the neck and going up, got a little bit rising up color to the incisal part. And even with the translucency, it's the same, this highly translucent material in the incisal edge and even the flexural strength you have a stable base of 1200 MPA at the neck of the tooth and it goes down as I told you to 670 MPA in the incisal part. Some pictures of cases we also made here that is just a sintered case of the Preto 3 dispersive restoration. That is one step in between where we make it in that way. So we, we make it in that way after the sintering cycle. We make a glaze firing in between. 
benefit of that is if you do this glaze firing in between, you have directly the final color. You can re you receive directly after the glaze firing the final color. And in the final step, you can characterize the structure with stains and maybe a, a second time with a glaze, but uh, on, with a second step here with a glaze in between, you can see directly in which direction you are going and in which areas you need a little bit more modification on the structure. Final result. You see this high translucency in the incisal area and so I would say a natural result regarding the material. And now also a complete new thing. What we are, yeah, what we what we figured out and uh, what we also bring out on the market that is blanks. They are named size one blanks. So what is behind that? You can see on the screen, there are quite often colors which you maybe use two times, three times a year. And if you need that color, it is not more necessary in that way to buy a whole blank. You mill one or two crowns of it and then it's lying anywhere for the next two years because nobody needs that color anymore. Here, uh, the idea here behind is if you have those cases, uh, we offer in that way zirconia blanks. They are named size one blanks, so that means you can mill one crown out of it. And how is it working? So, depending in which machine you are milling this material, in the 95 diameter orbit, there is a holder where you can put in four of those blanks and with the M2 and the biggest option of orbit, the 125 diameter orbit, you can put in here even more, so seven of these blanks. And that means if I have a case, I don't need to buy a complete blank, I just I'm able to buy me one of these small single for single crowns and so I don't waste a lot of money for, for in that way to, to keep a lot of material on stock. I just need to buy that for if I have special cases, I would say, or with a, cases with a special color, which I don't use quite often. The Preto, oh, that is here, I don't know, so wait. Regarding that, the anterior material from the Preto 4, and that was in that way the information about comparing, wait, let me go back, so we compare it also here with the Preto 4 anterior dispersive material, and but here the indication is in that way quite limited because it is just maximum three unit bridges uh, single crowns inlays onlay so you have just a small indication for that material even that is possible to work full anatomic but it is also like with any all the other zirconia materials that you can make a reduction, individualize it with ceramics, so everything is in that way possible. Here's a nice pictures to see before and after zintering, the manual individualization with coloring the structures before and how it looks like after zintering. So that was in that way the first part of Preto 3. And an additional thing I want to speak about is the Circonsan Shade Guides. Also to this small nice video.
The new Zirconzan shade guides can be used to determine precise patient tooth shade and optimal Pretau dispersive material selection with monolithic zirconia sample teeth. <laughs> Striving for perfection, we build our shade guides in the respective Pretau dispersive zirconia, not only in the shape of an upper and lower incisor, but also in the shape of a premolar, as the reproduction of the natural tooth color is a very complex process. Ideally, the color determination should be carried out under natural daylight or in a room illuminated with standard daylight lamps, avoiding direct bright light. Human teeth have different degrees of opacity, from quite transparent to very opaque. With the three Pretau dispersive zirconia types, three degrees of translucency are available. In addition to Pretau 2 dispersive and Pretau 4 anterior dispersive, the new Pretau 3 dispersive zirconia is also available. The color spectrum is inspired by the Vita Classic range and comprises 16 dentine shades and 3 bleach shades. The sample teeth are monolithic and glazed with 3D base glaze. Hold the shade guide in the shape of an upper incisor against the natural teeth to determine the natural tooth shade for a monolithic upper jaw structure to be fabricated in Pretau dispersive zirconia or to check the interplay with the natural residual teeth or already fabricated zirconia lower jaw structure. The teeth surface must not be dried out or they will appear too white. Carry out color determination quickly and no longer than five to seven seconds. The human eye tires quickly when looking at something with concentration. This also affects the color perception. Color theory shows that shape and surface structure considerably influence the color effect. Hold the shade guide in the shape of a premolar against the natural teeth to determine the natural tooth shade in the posterior region and the shade effect on the occlusal surfaces. Hold the shade guide in the shape of a lower incisor against the natural teeth to determine the natural tooth shade for a monolithic lower jaw structure to be fabricated in Pretau dispersive zirconia or to check the interplay with the natural residual teeth or the interplay with an already fabricated zirconia upper jaw structure. An exact determination of the natural basic tooth color is fundamental for the artificial reproduction. Professional literature recommends always using the shade guide of the material that will later be used for the restoration. If the material of the shade guide and the material of the zirconia crown are identical, the color of the zirconia restoration will surely correspond one-to-one -one with the natural tooth color of the patient. Shade guides are also available for individualists. They offer minimally reduced sample teeth, which can be further characterized by the application of different incisal materials. In particular, the incisal areas can be further individualized as desired. This results in truly unique shade guides that precisely reflect individual approaches and aesthetic demands. On request, the front side of the shade guide can be personalized with the name of the dental practice and the back with the name of the dental laboratory. Okay, so that was a small overview about that, what we want to speak in, uh, about now, the Zirkonzahn Shade Guide. And that was also a nice view of one of the education centers, the clinic, one of the last education center here. So let's go forward with that. First of all, what is new and what is behind of that? So shade guides for material, and that means it is first of all the idea that for each material, Preto 2, Preto 3, and Preto 4, it is possible or it is available a shade guide. And usually we have in that way, or that what we know as technician, we are working more or less always the same shade guide since I don't know how many years. And it's always the upper incisor. So here, now it's in that way something new. 
I don't know. I never heard that something like this is on the market, that there are in that way also a shade guide for lower incisals and also a shade guide for a premola. And that is the first new thing what we set up in that way. And the third thing we also want to speak about is that you can uh, that you are able to individualize your shade guide, and we will speak a little bit about that in the upcoming pictures. So, first of all, additional to the shade guide, it is possible to customize able uh, the shade guide with the name of the laboratory. And if you want to give it in the hand of one of your customers, you can also sign in the name of, the, of your client where you want to give it to. And this personalized thing or this personalization is what is behind that for the upper incisor. It is possible also yeah, to, to, to build up your individual shade guide. So what sense is behind of that? So every technician, I would say the technician who are layering ceramics, we have more or less our own way and always our individual way, but finally a way what we always repeat when we build up ceramics on teas. And here in that way, if you are able to build up your own shade guide in that way with your ceramics you are working with and in that way how you layer ceramic that means you can receive a result of a shade guide uh, which is in that way a, a copy of of your daily work what are you doing but also to speak about what is a minimal cutback uh, so what is behind the minimal cutback? We can see it here on the pictures. Minimal cutback on a restoration and also here a minimal cutback on the shade guides. Minimal cutback, our idea is behind is the reduction or the cutback is done in that way that you, that you rest the edges like they are. That means you keep the shape of the tooth and you just make a small reduction about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 millimeter to finalize it later on with ceramics. Here it might be better also comparing the minimal cutback against the monolithic. So only a small reduction from the monolithic case. And also here you can see the shape, so the, the edges stay we don't touch the form or we don't reduce the form of, of the tooth. We just reduce the inner part in that way and modify it in that way also later on to build it up to finalize it in our way with ceramics. Here it's a result after sintering, how it looks like. Also then the next step picture from the side, you see only a small, small part are taken away from that structure. That what we already spoke about is glaze firing in between, but with this glaze firing in between, we can see the direction where the color is going. And that helps us, that is in that way a visual help to see where we need to do modifications, where it's necessary if you want to build up, which uh, if you want to build it up with ceramics, which ceramic you need, or if you just want to work with stains, where you have to place your stains. And uh, so that is in that way a visual help to make this glaze firing in between. Second picture here from the side. And that is now characterized on the right side, the monolithic part just with stains. And here on the left side, a little bit more individual by using different things 
of ceramics. It's not a huge, huge difference, but okay, if I modify, if I make a cutback, if I start to layer with ceramics, for sure, I can individualize such a case better. And that is the final result. And now it's on you. You can compare it on your own right side, monolithic, left side. The finalized result with layering ceramics and then with stains and glaze. So it's in that way in your hands to say, okay, monolithic is more than enough. It's a brilliant result what I receive with that material. But even if you say anterior region, it might be better. I'd make a small reduction and I go my way with the ceramics to give him my personal touch might be better. Also here, in that way, picture from the side. Okay, so that was the thing regarding the lecture. Finally, one last video, and then I would like to give you the option to answer some questions. This out. Prado 2 zirconia from the Dolomites. In this video, we show you the difference between our minimal reduced zirconia structures in the incisal area and conventional monolithic zirconia structures. Both structures are glazed first. This firing serves as an adhesive bond for the fresco ceramic pastes. Only after the 3D glaze has been applied and fired, the final color of our zirconia appears. Afterwards the tooth surface is characterized with our 3D stains, and then fired again. For comparison 100% monolithic right, minimally reduced incisal area and filled with fresco ceramic left. Here you can see in detail how we apply our new fresco pastes and how we achieve natural and silky smooth surfaces in the tooth and gingiva area by a slow and efficient firing process. After the firing process and the shaping of the tooth surfaces, natural, aesthetic results can be achieved. Cutback has a very small reduction, about 0.3 millimeters. Cause of that, and the new blue lightning stain in our 3D stain set by Enrico Steger. A strong translucent effect can be indicated. Due to the intensity of the new stain, enamel effects can be applied very thinly. As a result of this fact, it is possible for the light to pass through the painted zircona structure at any time. And this creates a natural deepness in your structure. And as we all know the best comes to the end. Here you can see how the two structures fit together without any problems in a natural environment. The minimal cutback variant integrates more naturally than the monolithic structure. Due to the animal fresco paste a higher translucency can be achieved. The monolithic structure, on the other hand, offers a bright, luminous opacity. So seen, there is something for every taste. Thanks for watching, and never forget. Okay, thanks a lot. So from my side, I'm at the end.